Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, we had a client ask us last week if we thought uh, Valero, it was time to sell Valero here with the stock at over 100. And the answer was, I don't think I would do that. Uh, our initial target had been $120 a share for Valero, uh, which essentially means that you've got to believe the company's going to make $12 a year of earnings. And that did feel like a bit of a stretch. However, we've just sent you a note showing that with Valero's margins now around the $25 a barrel mark. Uh, they can actually probably get to as much as $5 of earnings in Q2. Q1, which they report tomorrow, uh, had a, a good couple of months and then a very strong March. But now as we're in Q2, we're just very strong and we expect that situation to be sustained. As we write in the note, uh, the, the, the Russian impact on European energy markets is having a major impact on distillate markets, which are extremely tight, even with the China shutdown. And we expect that distillate tightness to continue. Furthermore, uh, we had a surprise announcement last week that Lyondell is shutting a major refinery on the Gulf Coast, 260,000 barrel a day refinery, which will add to, for example, Philips shutting Alliance in further tightening uh, the US supply side on refining. And for the first time in 20 years of covering refining, uh, I'm now making an argument that we're structurally tight for capacity. And as a result, margins will be very high. As I said, we think that Valero can do $5 in Q2. And if you annualize that, obviously you're getting towards $20 of earnings. That's probably too high, but it's not out of question with Valero's multiple, as we show you in the note, so compressed uh, that the stock could be $150 stock. Reporting tomorrow, uh, for the rest, we've got uh, Chevron and Exxon at the end of the week, going to be very interesting. Watch out for those. I think Exxon has guided the market pretty effectively. Uh, I'm worried about Chevron. They've got a lot of issues, uh, bits and pieces in Q1, but then there's also the major question over Kazakhstan. And then on the same day, you'll get Philips, which has been a laggard, and people want to buy it on that basis. Um, we have understood why it's been a laggard, but again, it is exposed to these extraordinary refining markets, which uh, really will lift all boats in refining. So you can almost buy any refiner here, uh, given the tightness that we're seeing, and given the strength of US demand with almost zero unemployment. Okay, uh, it's Paul Sankey. Have a great week. Uh, I'm around if you need me. Thanks. How do I stop this thing? Oh, stop. <laughs>